Okay, this is the ventricle model. These are the spaces uh, inside of the brain. Uh, this ventricle here is called the lateral ventricle. Uh, the lateral ventricle is actually divided into several parts. So we have the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle, we have the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle, and we have the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. The lateral ventricle is connected to the third ventricle. You can see all this. This is third ventricle. And it's connected by these structures here, which actually would be holes. So they're called interventricular foramens, right, in between the ventricles, interventricular foramens. The third ventricle is connected to the fourth ventricle down here. So this is all fourth ventricle okay, by the cerebral aqueduct also called the mesencephalic aqueduct. All the pink areas that you see on the model, so pink areas here, pink areas inside here, or down here in the fourth ventricle, those are all choroid plexus structures that create the cerebral spinal fluid. And then lastly, off the fourth ventricle, we have points of contact here, which are the lateral apertures, and then we have a structure back here called the median aperture. This is how you get cerebral spinal fluid out of the ventricles and into the subarachnoid space.